May is also a time for new life. The sheep on the crofts are starting to lamb, but they're vulnerable. Not to foxes, Neil's taken care of those, but sea eagles. Many still deny that the enormous raptor introduced to this part of Scotland takes the newborns. The crofters and Neil no different. This is rewilding for real. It's messy and there's conflict. One way of dealing with it is this, a big orange terrifying flappy inflatable designed to send the apex predator away, possibly to think hard about what it's done. There you go. It's difficult not to find it all a bit comical. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Neil, what is happening? That's the angry man. He yeah. looks like a drunk man, not an angry man. Well, the wind's pushing that one over, but that's the idea is it leaps up and there's a whistling noise. Listen. That's it. That was it? That was it. And that would have done what? Well, the idea is that if the sea eagle is in the area hunting the lambs, that the angry man popping up, whistling and waving his arms around will be enough to deter the eagle from hunting the lambs on the, on the bank. To me, it generates a whole host of questions, David, because, I mean, we've known for a long time that, uh, well, certainly for the last 10 years, that the amount of impact of sea eagles on lambs here has been steadily increasing. We're also aware that the sea eagle population itself is steadily increasing. And uh, there's been a very long debate that sea eagles don't take perfectly healthy, viable lambs. But I think for the majority of people, other than the sort of the environmental evangelists, the, the fact isn't really challenged now. So the idea is that products like that will reduce the impact on lambs by disturbing hunting birds away from lambing areas. I hadn't really seen this device in use before, but it's in a couple of places on the peninsula this year. And we're just getting into the key time now for lambs being predated on by the eagles. So let's watch and see what happens. I think a decent gale of wind, if he rises up at the wrong moment, he might end up in Malig. <laughs> angry man flying. Uh, you might end up with an absent man rather than an angry man. Do you think that's then acknowledging an issue? I think yes. The field staff that work here with the sea eagles are pretty level-headed people. They're working within the confines of law. I think that they're doing their best, but I have never had a conversation with them in which they've said to me that eagles don't take lambs. I think it's about how they manage the issue. So whether angry men are going to be commonplace or other things are going to take a hand, who knows. 